check out those cabinets. We put some amber shellac on it. Two coats. It looks beautiful. Beautiful. I just wanted you to get a quick look at that. Of course, you've seen me build these cabinets in a Scotty before, but I wanted to show you a little bit more start to finish on building the cabinet doors. Now, normally, these would open up. Sometimes I find that a little bit of a hassle. So today, because of the catches, we kept the, the catches that keep this shut. So it doesn't matter whether they're side to side or they're up or down. Hey, if you're getting any uh, value out of this video or any of my videos, would you hit the uh, like and really hit the subscribe? Um, I do appreciate it. It helps our channel grow and that's cool. So they can either open out or they can open up. So I'm going to try open out because of the catches that we saved and uh, we're going to clean up. So the first thing I do is I have to take an exact measurement here, which is 10 inches by 11 and three quarters. So what I want to do is I want to get a half inch extra on each side, which will add up to an inch. So where I needed 10, I need 11. So that's going to sit us about right here. That gives me room for the uh, hinges and for the catch to sit in here. And plus it'll keep this closed, you know, so nothing gets in there. I don't know what would get in there, but nothing will now. Okay, so I need 11 here. And again, this was 11 and three quarters. So I'm gonna need 12 and three quarters when I cut my cabinet grade plywood. Let's go do that now. All right, I've got my half inch cabinet grade plywood. We've got this left over from building other parts of the campers, saved it. This is how I save money for my customer. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it at the 12 and three quarters, get that length out of it. And then we're gonna go back to the small side, which is gonna be 11 inches even. So I'm gonna do that on the table saw. Get my router All right, set I've got up. both of my cabinet doors bit. right here. The now we've got to take them uh, over to good. the router. Let's push this router put a nice out. edge on them. The square edge. So you can see, good. first we off, that it's on a curve. It's curved. So that's going to give us the curve on our cabinet edge that makes it look like a cabinet door instead of like a block. So then this, uh, this is a wheel. It's a bearing. So wherever it goes is where the router goes. So if your edge is not straight, that this goes on, it will not be straight. So you've got to make sure that you have a straight edge. So we're going to take this down to just a touch below even right there, because we're only working with half inch uh, cabinet grade plywood right here. So we don't need to be too crazy. So I've got my straight edge right here. I'm going to put this down here and I'm going to put this piece over top of it. Bring it down here a little bit. And make sure that this is completely even. Then I'm going to clamp it real tight right here on the end. Now, when I go down this straight edge, this is going to follow it and make me a real nice cabinet door. see what we got look at that see that's starting to look like a cabinet door so I'm gonna do that three more times on this one and then I'm gonna do the other door and then we'll look at our next step
All right, my next steps, I think I'll do in time lapse just so you can kind of see it because it's kind of standard, not a big deal, but I did want to explain one thing. I'm going to take some 220 grit sandpaper. I'm going to sand it down nice and good. Then I'm going to wipe it down. But then on the back, I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to tape this off right here before I prime it and paint it. Why, you ask? Because I think it looks cool because the insides of the cabinets are hardly ever painted. So why would you paint the inside of your cabinet doors? So I'll, I'll sand this down nice and neat. Nice and neat and it's going to bring out the, the uh, grain real nice. And then, so you're right here, and this is painted the color that the customer wants. And then when you open the cabinet door, bam, beautiful grain. I've got uh, my cabinet doors painted, so I want to kind of take you through what I do next. Um, remember I told you that I taped the back. So we're gonna just peel this tape off. Oop, maybe, we'll let go, there we go. Look at how beautiful that is. Every time you open this cabinet door, whoop, sure, it's gray on this side, but the back, you can see your beautiful work. That's why I like to do that. I don't know if anybody else does it here at Rob the Rebuilder World Headquarters. That's the way we do it. So these were the, the doors that we're working on. So one of the things that I like to do is make myself a little spacer. And that way I can put that right down beside the hinge on both ends and they're equally spaced and it doesn't look wonky. I do it for all of them. Make them all spaced apart properly. Back to our cabinet. So we're going with silver hinges. Let's go ahead hinges. and see if we can silver hinges. get our and I've got my door put on. on. Now remember, now we've only got a half inch with on each side. That's how we designed it. So we're going to so like get this first one started. started. You know, just kind of one going. eyeball it and get about a half inch in, no, half no, inch no, out. Kind of go, yeah, you gotta look her over. Here we go. Got that last one in there. There's our first one. Make sure that we're kind of, make sure we get it straight on there. There it goes. All right. There we go. And that's so not straight. That I've got is these screws on here. Real nice and deep. Straight. And look at how evenly right spaced that is. Doesn't that look nice? I think it looks now, nice. Obviously now, obviously that's gonna catch. Right here. Fall down. So but we, we did get our catch. Put that. So we right can put here. our catch on, on the there now. Just kind of see where this is going to set real nice. And we're going to use some make half a mark inch screws right on it. There. And I can see where that is. So we put our catch on there. Make sure it doesn't go through. All right, let's do that, that real quick. There we go. Make sure so that it's lined up nice and even. Then we just got to install the other side on the cabinet itself. Yeah, let's see if that'll That's close for us. Nope. Now it's closed. There we go. Could have done a little better job of lining that up, but I can redo that. So this is just going to pop off here. 
it opens up and when it's ready to close, just like that, we'll make an adjustment. Look at how much better that looks. This gray against the white and against this uh, amber shellac, I think it just looks beautiful.